directed. Oh, I'm fucking dying already. I'm sick and tired of that, dear. Everybody, Snooper Duper here. Uh, today I'm going to be doing a cert guide on uh, the Prowler. The main reason I'm doing the video is because people ask me all the time, well, you know, what's my cert setup for the Prowler? I do, I do fairly well in it. Uh, just a quick disclaimer before I do say anything. I'm, these are not. This is not fact. It's my opinions on what's the best cert setup for the Prowler from my playstyle. So here we go. For the passive systems, this basically reduces your cooldown timer on the Prowler. The default time is 20 minutes. I recommend going up to about the 400 cert mark, which reduces the cooldown time to 8 minutes. The reason why is because with the current resource system, they increased the resources of the Prowler up to 450. And it doesn't, at this point, having your resource timer over the 400 set part is kind of irrelevant because resources are so so hard to come by. <clears throat> in the utility slot we have uh, the anchored mode I've, uh, to be honest in my opinion it's the only option for the prowler it's our it's the Terran's uh, special ability it gives you at max level it gives you 48% reload speed and 60% projectile speed which is absolutely huge enables you to put more rounds down range than any of the other main battle tanks it also directly affects the play style of the way you play the tank but we'll go into that later on as for IR smoke I don't really think it's worth having just because it protects you from just one type of thing lock on weapons it can be good to run away with but I don't think it's that great proximity radar Again, comes down to the playstyle of the Prowler. You're going to be you're going to be fighting at range primarily, so I don't think you're really going to need the radar. It can be good for C4 uh, for light assaults, trying to see for you and stuff, but I don't think it's that great myself. And fire suppression, again, it repairs you when you hit that critical damage point when you go on fire. If you're at that point already, you're either going to be out repairing or you're going to be dead, so not that useful. So I would say go for anchored mode. It's also it's quite cheap, really, considering how diff how much how different it makes your tank perform in the long run. For defense slot, I use nanite auto repair. Main reason being is that the Prowler is the fastest main battle tank in the game, and you're going to be changing position a lot. So it's good to have this. You know, you're running away. You've been damaged. You're running away. You're using cover to protect your flank you're going to be constantly repairing and 6.25% every 5 seconds is pretty good with an 8 second cooldown it's not too bad. Vehicle stealth again you're not going to be wanting to be very close to anyone so I would say don't bother with vehicle stealth mine guard, there's a lot of mines in the game but if you play smart you're not going to be driving in the place that most people mine I suppose it's good protection from engineers who rush you but 90% of the time you should be able to take them out when they're coming at you anyway Reinforced front armor. Again, you're going to be you're going to wanting to be in a position where you're not going to be taking too much damage from the front anyhow. Reinforced side armor. People have done research on this. Apparently, it doesn't help all that much. And top armor, I suppose, could be good from guys throwing C4 on top of you. But again, uh, suboptimal in in my opinion. As for the performance slot, you may as well play to your strengths in a prowler. So I run the high speed racer chassis enables me to get away from most situations and also you're constantly repositioning in a prowler so it's really really helpful uh, I can see rival combat being good as well but I'd say that was more for vanguards and mag riders not really a prowler thing um, for performance like yeah say racer high speed probably the best 
for the primary weapon, I I did my heat Iraxium, the heat first. In fact, I think I got 4,000 kills before I switched over to AP. The reason being is because it's very versatile. It's the default weapon, so it's not much of a cert cost because the Prowler can be quite expensive cert-wise. And it's just it's great for farming infantry. Um, I took the maximum ammo, ammo capacity to the 200 mark because there's bound to be an ammo sundry or an ammo tower around somewhere and you, you want to be with other friendly tanks when you're running a prowler. As far as uh, optics go, zoom, because you're going to be fighting at range. This is just my playstyle by the way, I, people do it a different way but I don't see the prowler as a, a main battle tank as such, I see it as more of a self-propelled gun. It moves around. It provides fire support on entrenched positions. It's really good at engaging enemy armor columns from obscure angles that people wouldn't expect it to be coming from, so I suggest zoom all the way. Reload speed, because that stacks with your that stacks with uh, your deploy mode, which is really, really helpful. You know, you're, you're going to be able to fire two shells at max deploy and max reload speed, and the next two are going to be ready, generally, as the other two hit the target. So it's definitely worthwhile having that. Uh, Iraxium, the AP cannon afterwards. The AP cannon is really, really... Um, it's a mixed bag because the heat cannon does 1100 direct damage, but it does 700 splash uh, in the splash range, whereas the AP cannon doesn't do the same splash. But the AP cannon does 1200 direct damage. Now, 100... Direct damage increase isn't that great, I don't think. But the AP cannon has a higher velocity. Uh, the heat has 360 deployed, 360 meters per second, and the AP cannon has 400 meters per second deployed. It makes a big difference when shooting ESFs, liberators, even vehicles and such. And uh, you can also snipe infantry. You you get to a point where your aim gets to the gets to a point where you can sort of snipe infantry off of one shot. Uh, the other thing as well is that the heat gun will set an ESF smoking when you hit it, whereas the AP gun will set it on fire, so they'll have to land or die. Um, yeah, and I, the AP gun, good gun, but it's not for the noob. It's not for the new player who wants to run a tank. As for the HE gun, I wouldn't really bother that much for the HE gun now after they nerfed uh, explosive damage. It can be good for farming infantry that are stuck in buildings like say uh, you're in a tank line and you're shooting into Vanu archives it could be good for that but I haven't really bothered that much with it myself and for the secondary there's a lot of debate with the Vulcan and the Halberd and the Marauder as well but for me because of the way I play Prowler which is long range self propelled gun mobile artillery style I use the Halberd over everything else if you get a skilled gunner with a Halberd It'll be one shot in infantry all over the shop. Gives you an extra bit of punch and tank one on ones. It's just a really great gun. And as for certain it, uh, same thing as your main guns. Full zoom, absolutely essential. Reload speed is also essential. You know you can get more, get more web, uh, rounds down range. Maximum ammo capacity is. I always run it to about there because you know there's ammo towers, there's ammo sundies, there's all that sort of stuff. Um, I don't run the Vulcan because it goes against my playstyle for the Prowler, not really my cup of tea. And the Marauder again, short range, quite a tight arc on it. Um, yeah, and that's it really. The, the Prowler's, in my opinion, is one of the best tanks in the game. Requires a different playstyle to the other two. For example, you'll get if you're driving a Prowler and you go one on one the Vanguard with a skilled driver. He's got a fully set out tank like you. He, he'll destroy you if you try and take him on close range. If you play to your strengths and fight him at long range, you may be able to get four rounds into him before he even knows what's happening. With the Mag Rider, same sort of thing. They've got a strafe to be effective. While you're sitting still, they can hit you, but they'll be strafing around. And they, if they need to check around them, if they need to have some sort of peripheral vision, them having a fixed gun, that's going to be quite difficult. That being said, a good mag rider driver will be able to outmaneuver you pretty much every time. You just have to just lay it on him, just lay it on him as thick as fast as you possibly can. 
Well, that, that's it really. I, my Prowl Assert Guide. I appreciate everybody watching my videos. And uh, there will be a part two as well with some footage of the Prowler in action. Uh, thank you for watching. If you like the video, I found it entertaining. Like, comment, and subscribe it. Snooper Duper from Sarah ZU signing off.